Okay, so we are apparently doing yet another roadshow. What? Another roadshow? Can it wait until spring or summer next year? No, because I just figured out where we're going this time. To a desert. It's where it is always sunny, it's warm, and other stuff. Whoa. This is just like in the Australian outback. Got some sunglasses and sunscreen, dear? You betcha. Well, without further ado, let's go to the desert. Ugh. Are we there yet? Yes. We're almost here. Just sit tight. Ah good, everybody is here. Well, let's get this show on the road. Shall we? Heck yeah. Hello all, welcome back to the news. Yup that's right, we're in Cree Zona for our newest roadshow special. Now many of you may be wondering, Milton, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing a roadshow in a desert in December? Because it's always warm, it never rains, and everything else. I mean, just take a look at the desert temple over there. It looks amazing. Anyway, just like in our previous Roadshow episodes, there will be more crazy and interesting reports, minigames, and other fun stuff. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. A man caused a fire in a small neighborhood in Port Fort. Authorities said that the man is paranoid and claims to have never actually spoken at all. At least until the day the fire began. Here's Diana Shepard. This was the house that caught on fire in Port Fort. You can hear someone being caught on fire when he or she tried to get outside. Firefighters quickly came to the rescue and extinguished the flames. However, firefighters ran out of water bottles, so they used water balloons instead. Authorities have said that the man had paranormal powers and used him to set the house on fire for unknown reasons. The man was claimed to have never talked at all, but he eventually did so on the day of the fire when he confessed to starting it. He talked to the exact man that caused the fire. However, instead of explaining why he started the fire, he said this. Wait what? However, for some reason, our cameraman got distracted and filmed this footage. Oh my god! Why am I here? Please help me! I am Kunotai! Hey, excuse me, woman. Can I? Oh my god. What the hell is happening to me? Oh my god. What is going on? I've got to get out of here right now. Go, 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 go. Wait, what? What the heck just happened? Anyway, let's just forget about that weird report and get on with the first minigame. Alright, before we introduce this minigame, I would like to introduce the two contestants competing today. Hello, guys. What are your names? Sydney. Kayla. Okay, you two. This minigame will be called a mob fight. You have to choose which mob you want to go for and they will fight each other in three rounds. The person who wins every match will win the minigame and get a free trip to the Australian Outback. So Sydney, which mob you're going for? The skeleton. Kayla? The husk. Alright, you chose the mobs to fight. Now, let's begin round one. Uh oh, the skeleton can't back up. The husk is getting it easily. Go Skellybone. Go. And Sydney has won round one. Yes. Oh look, even Match is watching the battle too. Anyway, let's begin round two. Alright, the skeleton is doing a good job so far. And the okay never mind, that husk has got it. Come on, just woohoo, yes. I won. And it seems that Kalia has won round two. It's a one-one draw. Alright, this is the final round. 
and it's the most decisive yet. Let's do this. Ga ooh die you zombie. Oh not again. Come on. Go get that skeleton, please. And Sydney has won the minigame. Congratulations. Oh my god. Yes, I did it. I won. Yeah. Uh, a. Ow, Sydney. You just won a free trip to the Australian Outback. The $20 million is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, no fair. I was doing way better than you. I'd rather just leap off to a pool of lava. I'm out. <laughs> oh wow, what a baby. Anyway, it's zombie apocalypse report time with Steve. Note that this report has been pre-recorded. Okay, so I woke up from this bed right here where I fell asleep, and some people in the house complained about- What the hell was that? I haven't even stepped outside yet. Well, I guess I should be careful and go. Alright, so far, so good. Uh oh, a golden armored zombie. Die. Oh, not you. What do you want? k power you're dead. Oh my god! Where did that creeper come from? I'm so lucky I'm not dead. Gee, why does the lightning system look like that? It looks kinda broken. I have to try fixing it. Ah, there we go. That's better. House of Fuji, we reported to our photograph of the 4,333,232,323. Hey! Shut up. Oh, not again. Ah, try catching me now, you punks. Thing to see here, it was just a creeper exploding a farm. Help me. Please. Come on. Why isn't my sword working? Ah, oh, there we go. My god. I'm getting so hungry. I need to eat something before- Oh my goodness. Where am I going? What is happening to me? Oh come on. Why on earth does this have to keep happening? Anyway, we'll be cutting to a commercial break. Again, but once we get back, We'll be reading more requests, and have some more minigames of course, don't go anywhere. This is Tim. Tim lives in this dirt house that looks like something as if it was made by an amateur Minecraft player. Tim has no TV or any other furniture but he did get a furnace to cook something and a crafting table to craft things. He also sleeps on a bed in his small underground bedroom, with no bedside cabinet next to it. When Tim has had enough of his life as a poor man, he decides to call the Light Marsh Housing Agency. Two days later, he gets himself a new, bigger house where he can relax. Thanks to the help of the housing agency, he gets himself new furniture, a new dog, as well as some loud neighbors. Why can't they just shut up? Light Marsh Housing Agency. Always here to help. Hello, Judy. Hello. I'm Annabelle. I am currently in a snowy place where I can find something to eat. Oh, look! Someone just apparently froze to death. I wonder what did she drop? A potato? That's right. You put the potato in the microwave and wait for it to be finished. Yum. Delicious. <laughs> wait, what was that noise? It must have come from the basement. Need to check. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> How the heck am I still alive? The revolutionary baked potato from Zuriki Meals. Zuriki was not responsible for any queerness caused in the making of this commercial. New from Fujitsu City, your boss has asked you to go on a very important mission. Your objective is to get the diamonds found in the desert temple. But the temple has been guarded by monsters. What would you do? Hey! Gather all weapons and tools, defeat the monsters, and try landing to the underground safely without touching the pressure plate. 
Yes. I got it. But the question is, how are you going to get back up? That'll do, the new Fujitsu City Desert Adventure set, from character. Each set sold separately. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? And welcome back folks. It's getting night time, but while the commercial break went on, Match somehow managed to get into the audience area. I mean, how did she get past the security? That's none of your business. Anyway, it is now time to read some requests. Yup. We're doing request reading in a road show. How interesting is that? So, this request from Plotagonfan25 says, A villager has fallen into the river. Whoa, so this is just like from a Lego City commercial. Well in that case, we'll show the report. Kendall Haber? In Village City, a man has fallen into the river in Village City. The rescue team is getting ready to start the rescue. Hey! The emergency bed appears from the sky. Rescued the man and the man lived happily ever after. The end. Wait what? What kind of report was that? Did our reporter just drop the microphone and took off? Wow, what an idiot. Anyway, here's another request I found on Discord. Local Minecraft resident finds a village with a waterfall. I mean, just take a look at this. A waterfall on a village farm? How bizarre is that? Wait, who the hell is that? Fan, get out of that farm right now. I'm calling the- Darn, that was weird. Anyway, back to the requests. This one from Sunny Gilly says, Fujitsu which comes back, and try to hack our news program again? No chance. Task is get up us out of TF. Task is 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 Hele. Muname is Task is. Stop TF Rob Show right now. Please. You are real dumb and stupid. No, it is time to dance. Ah, la, 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 la. Fuji is your call of T. Samsung Siemens. Who are you bored at me? Dot is T's weight. Prepare to be caused. Mickey, what is happening? We are all one. All four. All four. What have you done? You just made the audience get the Fujitsu thing. Shame on you. Now it's time for you to be punished. And bam, she's dead. Anyway, let's cool it with the requests for now and get on with the second minigame. Alright, with me now is Tyrone. Hi Tyrone, are you excited about this minigame? Yes, I am. I'm quite nervous, but I'll get over it. Okay, so in this next minigame, you have to try to save Bubble from Battle for Dream Island and try to defeat as many skeletons as you could. As you can see, there are about 7 skeletons lined up on the streets, waiting for you to face them off. However, one skeleton has a flammable bow and he uses it to set anyone on fire, so you have to try to be careful. Finally. You have to defeat two more skeletons, then break the cage, and save Bubble from her captivity. You will only get three lives, but if you waste them, you lose the minigame. However, if you do manage to defeat all skeletons and save Bubble, this means you will win the minigame and you can get to watch. What else? Battle for Dream Island. Especially the fourth season of course. Fair enough. Alright, ready? Go. Come at me you freaks. You just wasted a life. You only have two lives left. You can't stop me. I will destroy you. Please help me. I need some golden apples and food. Ugh. Fine. Yes, you're doing good Tyro. Keep going. I'm on fire. 
Oh wow, why does he need a golden apple for? Isn't that a bit cheating? I can do the e e e e e e e e e e e e e Whoa, look at that. The villagers are killing a skeleton. That's wild. Hooray, I'm free. Congratulations Tryon. You just managed to save Bubble. You won the minigame. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I only had two lives though, but I don't care. Now this means you can watch the entire Battle for Dream Island series, from Season 1 to 4. Oh Tyrone, you are my hero. Thank you so much for saving me. You're welcome. So where could I get the oil cake? Sorry, we still don't serve oil cake. Goodbye. Wow. How rude. Anyway, now that we finished our second minigame, let's get back to the requests. This one was actually sent in by Pyko from Doki Adventures. The request says, Zombie Apocalypse Live Report with Doki. The one and only. So yeah, this village I am at right now seems to be pretty peaceful. It's not crazy, and yada yada yada. I mean, what could possibly go wrong tonight? <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I already know what that sound meant. Wait, what is that on the roof? Is that the spider? Oh crap. A creeper. Die. How is that spider so fast? I mean, what? No 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 please don't hit me I am so sorry. Oh wow. Check this out. Villagers versus zombies. How sick is that? I shall win this battle. Yeah. Okay, there seems to be an army of zombies trying to kill me. Jeez. I, Skelly Bone. Now what is going on? Why am I hearing a music playing? That's just like what happened before Fico died. Cool. A carrot. The irresponsible zombie has detected that you stole my carrot. Give it back. Never. Oh come on. Could you just leave me alone? <laughs> oh great, first Fico died, but now Doki. I mean who's next? Annabella. You stop going on about Doki and move along with your job. Ugh. Fine, this next request from Maxism says, travel guide, this better be good. Today, I made a spectacular entrance to Wonderville, and I used stacking bats to fly around. If I could try to fly somehow. Ah, help, I'm stuck. My vehicle isn't working. Wonderville is a small city in Minecraftia with pure imagination and non-stop madness. This is also where the character headquarters is located at. That's the company behind Fujitsu City, the series of toys that you see frequently on commercials. I tried to talk to Harry Eubanks, the toy company's founder, but he wasn't available. I did eventually find him in another building, and I asked him why he made the highly successful Fujitsu City series. How and why exactly did you make Fujitsu City? Because Fujitsu is my passion. That's it. Oh and please forget that shadowy corner thing behind me, it's probably just another lightning glitch. But then, something weird happened. The baby golem appears on the ground. Learn how to speak properly like your dad, you stupid thing. But then, his dad himself appears too. Hey, you leave my son alone. You have no right to mess with him, just back off. And then this happened. Squids swimming around a well. This is weird. This doesn't normally happen in deserts. I mean, who would put a squid in the well anyway? What the hell are you looking at? Okay seriously, this is getting very weird. Ah whoosh, oh hello there my darling I'm a pig and I'm so fast not na 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 la 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 lo le la do 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 de da do de da da do de 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 Stop Oh, I'm busted. No please don't hurt me I didn't do anything. You can't stop us. We will follow you everywhere. Feel our wrath.
I'm being surrounded by a villager gang. Please help me. And when night time came, things quickly get even worse. Is a man with a Hungarian accent, Spearkin, Leos Estoy of I from Pervin Loggers. Hey, Tankilio. Oh no, 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 Make it stop. Okay, so I have to seek shelter in a small house so that those creeps can't find me here. But the question is, do I either get out of the house, or just stay inside? Gotcha. Harry, if you're out here, please save me. I'm gonna die. Too bad. Harry's not coming to save you. Prepare to die. When you go to Wonderville, please do not hit a resident. Because it can hit you back and even try to kill you. Well, geez. If you thought Wonderville was friendly, it's not. It was a lie. Anyway, this next request from KJF Enterprises says, Zombie Apocalypse Live Report with Blocky. Whoa. So we're letting Battle for Dream Island contestants do live reports now? That's a change. Screw you fan. Anyway Blocky, can you hear me? Uh yes, I can hear you. So right now I'm at the top of a church because, well, why not? I mean what would you do up on the roof? Party around or what? Uh I'm just kidding, let's go and walk outside. Uh oh. I guess I'm next. Eek. A creeper. Oh crap he saw me. Die 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 die. Phew. Oh no 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 no. Don't you dare. Now it just gets worse. Haha. I just used cheats to get some golden apples. Enjoying the night alone? I'm sorry, but who the hell are you? I am indestructible. You can't stop me. Come at me. I just moved over all book more stock. Now this is highly unreal. First Steve died, then Doki, but now Blocky. I mean, what more could I want? Anyway, this next request from Vikol Razvmiha. No, 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 no more stacking requests. I am seriously getting sick and freaking tired of this. How are we supposed to get rid of Vikol Razvmihai once and for all? Just block him. That way he'll stop sending too many requests. Oh, yes. That's a good idea. Let me do my thing. User successfully blocked. Ah, he's gone. He's no more. Wow, even you guys are cheering about Vicol's demise. I guess you're really annoyed about his comments. Anyway, forget Vicol. Let's get straight to the final minigame. Alright, it is now fully night time here in Grizona, and now am I at this desert temple. I mean, just look at this where I'm standing. It's no surprise that this is Grizona's national landmark. And who did I got? Russell, good day. Or good evening. Whatever. Okay Russell, I'll explain how this minigame works. In this minigame, there are two pumpkins, one outside the temple and the other inside, at the side of the iron doors, and they will ask two questions about Kree's owner. If you get the questions right, the door will unlock. Once it is unlocked, you have to try to destroy the blue terracotta and get inside the shaft. In this shaft, there are four hidden chests and one of them has diamonds inside. If you fall into the pressure plate, it would trigger an explosion and you will die, and lose the minigame. If you managed to find the diamonds, you'll win the minigame and a chance to go on a free trip to Losculum. Alright? Yep, heard you loud and clear. Good. Alright, good luck. Hello Traveler, who was the most notable resident in Creaser? Shiri Scorpio Saws. That's correct. Final question. Who is the mayor of Grizona? Oh, ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I have no clue who the mayor is. Please. You still got time. Edward Barker? That's correct. 
You're good to go. Oh boy, here goes nothing. I hope Russell isn't going to lose. Nice. Wait, what the hell? What the hell is this? I thought you said there were diamonds on each chest I destroyed. Well, um, uh, uh... Don't you dare make any excuses. You tricked me. You tricked me into participating in this minigame. You ruined and destroyed my dreams. And it's all your fault. I hope you get fired for this. You're a pig and a disgrace. Okay, Russell. I tried to play nice on you in a civilized manner, but it seems that you're not pleased with me. Now I'll have no choice but to leave you dying in an explosion. Wait, what? Goodbye. Hey, come back here right now. I haven't finished with you. This shaft will self-destruct in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. New <laughs> and so, there you go. Russell lost the minigame because, well, I had to do it. <laughs> oh come on you guys. It was just a prank. You know I had to trick him by stealing the diamonds from the chest. No big deal. Man, Milton is so stupid. Yeah. He is. He's not even a proper news anchor. He's nothing but a trickster. Anyway. Darn. What was his name again? Oh yes. This request from Pedro the Coolmaker 209 says, A fire burns the house down in the task is Ville. This looks interesting. Let's roll it. Hopefully it's not going to be cursed. In the task is Ville, Firefighters were called into the scene of a house fire near downtown. Firefighters then used water battles to extinguish the flames. Hey! Get out of the house right now. I don't care. I'd rather stay here and die. Firefighters then urged the woman to get out of the house, but she resisted. However, when the fire began to worsen, she managed to get out through a window. Reports said that the fire was caused by a short circuit because of a series of power outages happening in the neighborhood recently. With nothing left after the fire, the family that lived in this house decided to move elsewhere. We tried to talk to What's that? I can't hear you. Oh come on, why can't our reports be normal for once? This is getting annoying. Anyway, this next request from Hugo the Cool Shaddock Video Maker 2002 AUTTPATHDTC, the Doki fan apparently, says, interview with Pat and Matt from Czech Republic. Pat and Matt, never heard of them. Alright, I'll talk to them on video chat and hopefully nothing bad will happen. Anyway hello boys, can you hear me? Yeah. We can hear you. We have to do the interview in a white room because there were way too many people disturbing us. We are popular cartoon characters from the Czech Republic and we didn't even age at all. We're not elders as you can see. We're still here and do cool. Hey. What happened? Where did the lights go? I don't know. The power must have gone out. <laughs> oh my god. What the heck is that? Uh, what? What the heck was that? That didn't go out, as how I imagined. Anyway, after all the requests I've read tonight, this is the last one. This one is from Pedro the Coolmaker 209, the same person that requested the house fire. It says, interview with Squirtle. Well I'm glad you requested it because Squirtle is here right now. Anyway hello Squirtle. Now what the hell is that? I wanted Squirtle to be a Pokemon and not this. I mean, who keeps screwing up Pokemons like this? It was me, Teehee. Damn it fan, can you please tell me what the hell is this, Squirtle the cow? I mean, what were you thinking? He's been turning Pokemons into different animals instead. He did it before, more than once. Woke up when it was morning, was a day like any other day. I had a bad time cause I couldn't rhyme, until I could when I saw her walking down the street. All I want to do is to have a party, oh yeah yeah. I. Have. Had. Enough. Security. No, 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 wait, 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 I am so sorry.
Acha. We are up. Come on, just come to me already. That does it. Next time we interview a Pokemon, we'll use the Pixelmon mod. Sorry about this, Squirtle. We have to cancel the interview. It was all fans doing. That's okay. I don't even know why I'm a cow in the first place. I look nothing like me. Anyway guys, that does it for this Roadshow special. It has been fun, and we hope we can do it again some other time. It's time to say goodbye to Grizona where we did this episode. It's quite tough for us to leave here, but it had to be done. Next week, we'll be no back to our usual studios, but we'll still do crazy reports or other stuff. So yeah, we'll be no back at the same time and on the same date next week. Audience, say bye. No, you just want me to stay? Please stay in Crizona. This news program would be even better if you explore different places instead of usually just one, like a flat world with slimes jumping around. Okay, fine. I'll think about it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. No seriously how did I get up here? Help. Help, I'm locked in a cage. Please save me. Too bad. You are not going anywhere. You are staying here because of the Pohikimon debacle. And don't even think of escaping. End of story. <laughs>